Before we start this lesson, I just want to quickly recap a few things about motion and acceleration. In any kind of motion, acceleration can be of three kinds. It could either be zero, which means that the velocity change is zero over a period of time. The velocity is constant. This is a classic example of a uniform motion because the body will cover equal distances in equal times. The second case, let's take the extreme case where the acceleration itself is changing and it's varying continuously. That's a highly non-uniform motion and we are not going to cover that in this grade. What we want to focus on right now is in all the scenarios of motion where the value of acceleration is a constant. Here's a question. All these scenarios of motion where the value of acceleration is a constant, is that a uniform motion or a non-uniform motion? It is a non-uniform motion. Even though the acceleration is constant, what that means is that the velocity is changing. It is just that the rate of change of velocity in equal intervals of time is going to be the same. But since the velocity is changing, the body is going to travel unequal distances over equal intervals of time. So it is a non-uniform motion, but that is exactly what we are going to study right now. When an object moves in a straight line with a constant acceleration, it is possible to relate the various parameters of this motion like the distance traveled, the amount of time taken, the velocity and the value of that constant acceleration with each other. There are three equations of motion, there are three such equations and we'll start with studying the first equation. The first equation is this, it's V is equal to U plus AT. This equation relates the velocity with time. V is the final velocity u is the initial velocity, t is the time and a is the value of the constant acceleration. Now we will learn to derive this equation using the graphical method. Now let's look at this graph more carefully. So let's begin our derivation. You can see that this length bc, the length bc can be expressed as bd plus dc or we can say it's bd plus oa which can also be expressed as bd plus u and BC is V. So what we can say is that V is equal to BD plus U or BD is equal to V minus U. That's our equation number one. Now we already know that the value of acceleration, we already know the formula of acceleration. Acceleration is V minus U upon T. V minus U is nothing but BD. So we can say that A is equal to BD upon T or BD is equal to AT. This is our equation number two. From equations 1 and 2, we can see that AT is equal to V minus U or we can say that V is equal to U plus AT. This is our first equation of motion. Now let's look at an example. Whenever you are solving problems around first equations of motion, you can see that the first equation is V is equal to U plus AT. So we are dealing with four parameters. It's V, it's U, it's A and it's T. Typically in the questions you will be given three out of these four parameters and you will be expected to find out the fourth parameter, just like in this question. What this question says is that there is a body which is moving at 10 meter per second and then it is accelerated at 2 meter per second square for 10 seconds. And we are asked to find out the value of the final velocity. We know the u, we know the a, we know the t, we are expected to find the v. So here is the solution. So this is our first equation of motion, V is equal to U plus AT, the value of U is 10, the value of A is 2, the value of time T is 10 seconds. So let's place these values and see the answer. It will be 10 plus 2 into 10 is equal to 10 plus 20 which is 30 meter per second, that's our final velocity. Now let's look at another example. A body starts from rest and it starts accelerating with an acceleration of 12 meter per second square. It accelerates for 3 seconds and we are expected to find out the final velocity of this object. So what are, what are we given with? We are given the value of acceleration and we are given the value of time and we are expected to find out the final velocity v. But do we know the u? Yes. Because the question mentioned that the body starts from rest, what that means is that the value of u is 0. So let's solve this problem. We will use the first equation of motion, v is equal to u plus at, u is 0, a is 12, t is 3. So the answer comes out to be 36 meter per second. So in this lesson, we learned about the first equation of motion and we also learned how to derive it with a graphical method.